Welcome to Pokesave.org's video Pokesave tutorial. In the first tutorial, we'll show you how to use the Pokesave main screen. Here you see the Pokesave main screen. This is what you'll get when you first open Pokesave. On the top left, you'll find the basic function buttons. Open will open a save file. Here I've already got a save file opened. Revert to original will basically undo all the changes since you last saved the save file. Save and save as, save the save file. Export ARD codes allows you to export action replay codes for use on an action replay. I'll show you that in another tutorial. Save file size allows you to choose what size your save file is. It's very important that you choose the right size or else the file will turn out corrupted. To find out what size it is, all you have to do is take your save file, press Properties, and see the size in the Properties window. Here's the Bag Edit menu. You can edit your inventory here by pressing on the Edit button in one of the categories. You can see a list of all the items in that category. To add a new item, all you have to do is scroll down, press one of the empty slots, choose an item, and choose a quantity, and press Modify, and that will appear right there. To edit an existing item, say I want more leftovers, all you have to do is click on that item, modify the quantity by adding or removing, and press Modify, and you'll see that shows. Press OK to commit that change. This goes for medicine, Pokeballs, and all these other categories, as well as the underground edit categories. In the events edit menu, you can edit different in events in the game, as well as your egg Pokemon, the Pokemon that's in your daycare, and the mystery gift Pokemon. I'll get to that later. Pokedex, you check which Pokedexes you have unlocked. Since I don't have the complete Pokedex yet, I won't check complete, but I do have Sinnoh and National Pokedexes. Checking the complete Pokedex will give you all the Pokemon seen. Name is basically your trainer name. ID and secret ID basically identify you with your Pokemon. For example, if this Pokemon matches my trainer ID and secret ID, then the game will count that Pokemon as mine and it will obey me fully. Unlike if I changed my secret ID, the game won't think it's mine anymore, so it won't count that um, I caught it, count it as that I caught it. Rival's name is your rival's name. Money is how much money you have in Poké Dollars. Uh, score is your score in the game, which is shown on your trainer card. Record system edit, you can edit different status to statistics you've gained in the game. You can view this in the game at a certain point, but it isn't really important. Gender, you can edit your gender, and this also affects uh, whether your rival is Lucas or Don. And you can see a listing of your party Pokemon in the party edit section. And you can cha change how many party Pokemon you have here. If you add or remove Pokemon from your party, be sure to change party members amount. This is very important. In the location boxes, you can change your coordinates in game. This is basically where you are standing. In the URL I posted in the annotation, you can get a table of the different locations and the different coordinates they have. So you can use Pokesave and those, that table to teleport anywhere in game instantly. Storage Edit will give you a listing of all your boxes. You can scroll through them using the box number, and you can edit Pokemon by pressing the Edit button. I'll show you the Pokemon Edit menu later. You can also edit the box's wallpaper which is the background you see. In Poketch Edit, you can edit the different Poketch apps you have. Since some of these are event only, I uh, don't have all of them checked. Seals, you can edit how many se of each Pokeball seal you have to decorate them. Accessories, you can edit how many of each accessories for contests you have. For Poffin, 
It's very similar to the item edit menu, except now you have the pop-in stats. So to add, add a new pop-in, you have to also fill out its stats. Say, and then press modify. So you have a pop-in with different stats. Repel steps left. This is how many steps are left until the repel effect wears off in the game. If I put out 500, for the next 500 steps I walk, um, the repel effect will be on and I won't meet wild Pokemon as much. For Pal Park Edit, you have six slots, and these all need to be filled out with Pokemon um, before you can play the Pal Park minigame and actually transfer these Pokemon into your game. So you can edit the different Pokemon in your Pal Park here, but you need to have all six filled out to um, actually go into Pal Park. Okay, one more thing I forgot to explain about the bag edit. If you press all and fill out this, that means you have all of the items and 995 of this. I can change this to 100, but if you press pieces, then you can edit them individually using the item edit menu. Thanks for watching the first um, video Pokesave tutorial from Pokesave.org. Um, this is CoolBH03K, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, Please look forward to other videos. Thanks.